In this segment, I'm going to take you through the procedure for installing the wire basket on a Task Force Tips RC monitor. In most cases, the monitor is still going to be on the apparatus, so these items will, of course, still be around the pipe in some manner. One thing to check before we install the wire basket, on some vintages of RC monitors, there was a black plastic retaining clip. This black clip retained the stainless steel ball bearing that limited the travel of the monitor to 450 degrees. Without that ball in place, the monitor would continue to turn and cause damage to the wires. Make sure that black plastic clip is in place. Newer monitors do not use the black plastic clip. They're simply retained by the casting itself, so in most cases that ball will always be in place. Once we've assured the black plastic clip is there and the ball bearing is in place, we'll begin with the installation. On the upper wire skirt, there's a raised lug that will fit in a corresponding groove where the clip is or a notch where the casting retains the ball. Orient, orient that in a way that that drops into that clip. With the lower wire basket, this basket retains the extra length of cable that again allows this monitor to rotate 450 degrees. Making sure to make a clean loop, looping it back upon itself, not going all the way around, but loop it back upon itself. Install in the basket. And then push this into the upper wire skirt. On the lower wire skirt, we've molded in an arrow Rotate this arrow until it lines with the locator arrow on the inlet of the monitor. Once the arrows are lined up, we can go ahead and install the basket retaining clips. Machined into the inlet of the monitor are two grooves that these square tabs will lock into. With the square tab facing in towards the monitor, there are grooves in the basket that these will install into. Put them in their appropriate grooves and press in. You may have to twist it just slightly to get those to lock into place. Once that's installed, 180 degrees opposite, install the other side. Again, aligning with their grooves and pressing in and giving a twist until it locks into place. Once those are both locked into place, the lower basket is retained. At that point, you can go ahead and power the monitor and test its rotation.